50 signatures again are signed to this petition. It's on the other page. If you vote for this and you want to support this, you don't give a darn about rules. You don't give a darn about uh, the, uh, our procedures and the structure that we, that we uh, abide by here. Shame on you. Okay, uh, Mr. Pacheco, whether he was the chair or the gentleman sitting, Mike was the chair at the time he made a statement. Mr. Pacheco is correct. The process, whatever, uh, and of course, as Mr. Manzano mentioned, it has been uh, heard by the previous board. I believe when Hugo, wherever he is, when he was the president here and I was in the board at the time, I think we took it and we heard it. And if I'm not mistaken, we voted as a board back in quite a few years ago, we voted for it, okay, to, to go forward and, and can do the construction. But no matter what happens, there's no way for the city or any city anywhere in the country to train the public at large on a given matter so you know the process and how it's done, okay? Whatever we vote here, Today, if we take a vote for whatever issue is it, if we take a vote, unless it's got to do with money that we're giving out for some purpose through the finance committee and the board approves it and all that, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, as Mr. Pacheco said, you're spinning your wheels being here. There's nothing we can do. We can have it. We approve what you all want, and they generate a letter to support your cost to wherever it's supposed to go. It's still meaningless because the project can still go forward Take on whatever the any neighborhood wow. council all Thank 94 you. neighborhood right. councils so, in the city so, vote so, so, can still can go forward so, so, okay. we have no power whatsoever we make no laws we cannot enforce any laws or nothing we can hear you and we can approve what you say or not approve make letters and that but we're powerless are you the board? Middle order. Middle order. The way to stop this process is that as each chair would say, does anyone want to make a motion to call for the vote on the board? We've heard it now. We're not done with our discussion. Come on. Two minutes. I call for the vote, chair. Okay, now can I get a second on the call? Second. Okay, now we're going to. The way this process works, we vote as to whether or not we should vote. That's the way it works, okay? All, no, no, look, look, if we don't burn it here, we're gonna get beat up over there. By there, I mean downtown. So let's go through the process here to see how it works downtown, okay? That's the whole idea here. We learn it here so we don't get beat up downtown, okay? All those in favor of closing the discussion and having a vote on this item, please raise your hand on the board. All those in favor, or, excuse me, excuse me, raise your hand. Can you get him? He's got to count, count for the record. Yes. Okay. Ruben. Yes. 
Angelica. Yeah. Edward. Yeah. Connie. Anthony. Yeah. It's Mike. Yeah. And, and I'm going to put myself into the yes column. And I have anybody against? Abstention, you go. Okay, ten, one, one, two. Cynthia, are you yes? Abstain, okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take a vote for the motion. The motion states, and the chair repeats, that the LA 32 NC support the residents' petition to the hearing officer to deny the Bank of America Construction and Development Inc. request for the rezoning of the site located at 2520, 2668 Eastern Avenue and 2651 Lombardi Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 9002, and honor the existing Northeast Los Angeles Hillside Ordinance. Okay, that's, that's the motion. Chairperson, can I get a roll call vote on this? That way, make sure I document correctly the vote. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, well, you can either do a hand raise or vote call. I'm going to go down the row. Item 8A3, Anthony Mazzano. Abstention. Tony Castro. Abstention. Edward Santillan. Yes. Ruben Chavez. No. Mike, Nick McGuire? No. Angelica Duarte? Yes. Mike Roseberry? No. Roxana Magar? Yes. Cynthia Sandoval? No. Miguel Hernandez? No. Adam Aria? Can somebody explain to him that's final for the what? Okay, first of all, I have a question for you. Have we just looked at completed our ethics training in order to be able to vote? Is that required? Not yet.
talking about one of us? Yeah, no, I can't. During the meeting, we try to keep. We try to, we try to maintain some kind of. We can't show any influence. Right now, what's happening is done in 20 minutes. So, in case us from any type of bias or mistake that we might make, I'm not saying don't buy it. Yes, it does. Yes, it would.
democracy is dirty, and they say, you know, uh, so you keep trying to move forward. Uh, again, I oppose uh, making that corner commercial. I oppose the charter school. <coughs> so this way I support in uh, favor of this motion to rescind. You just got to get confusing. You're in your board for him to come. I'm supporting this motion to rescind the original letter of support from the old LA 932. But now we got a new LA 932. Even though there's 
members of the flag committee members ask to have a bring it back to land use, have a discussion, have a proper process, defend the, 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 the issue for the community and for the board to be able to hear and have a presentation of proper presentations for or against. I'm not against or for this topic at all. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm here just to, just to make a point that this board has to follow a proper procedure that is honest and not directed by one or two people to, to, to have this situation that we have today. This item shouldn't be, it shouldn't be here, but it is here and it's your problem now. You solve it. Thank you. Thank you. Angel Melendez, followed by Hugo Garcia, followed by Al. Um, all this about following rules and stuff. We're we're residents. We have nobody represent us. You are our representation. I think we should have a little bit of leeway on how we submit things and down to the down to the the number of letters in the paragraph. If we're over one or two. I think we should have some leeway. We're not lawyers. Um, we don't have any. You are representing. Thank you for that, that other meeting uh, to allow us to adjust it. Um, signatures is one page on the other chip. It's it's the character of, of the whole motion. What was what was what was in our interest?
the board needs to change. I've been here with good faith. We've had seven years. And when this all went haywire on June 13th, Angelica and I have emailed back to each other. And I was totally set up by Angelica and, and the board at this point. It is frustrating to work for the circus, OK? It is difficult to believe people who take information and turn around and use it against you. I have pulled this myself from the planning commission because of the people of El Sereno, not because of this board, because I am listening to the people of El Sereno. I am listening to their concerns. And you guys have made it a witch hunt. And you don't care what you do and what law you break. Ethical, morally, oh, there is no ethics, there is no morality in some of you. I am outraged the way you guys have handled this. You guys are not honoring anything that has happened prior, or present, or future. I don't care if you give a letter of rescinded. I don't care if you don't accept the petition. It means nothing to me. This board has no integrity.
I do see it as we you know getting beautiful. If you guys are fighting for the community to look beautiful, why now are you trying to change it? Sony, we sold it? Yeah. 